wanted to look at a group that's often talked about but is rarely listened to. Young adults aged 16 to 18 who will be voting for the first time in the 2020 general election. I think there's so many pressures on us as young people today of having to get the very best grades to be able to get into the medium income bracket. When you see automation, you know, it's, it's absolutely blown through manufacturing and blue collar jobs, it's now into professional services. Unless we equip young people with the skills to know how to work alongside the computer, if you like, I think we do have a bit of a problem. I know people that work in the NHS and there's a huge amount of pressure on the likes of nurses and they don't feel they're getting paid well enough. So maybe increase their salary, how much they'll get paid, might make people more willing to go into um, that sort of job because it is a very high pressure job now. Compared to our generation, body image, sexualisation, but also just friendship. Friendship is just much more stressful, it seems to me, for you guys than it was for us. You've got a certain amount of friends on social media, but you don't really see them. You don't know who your neighbour is. We're not really getting together. We call ourselves a community, but we all come from work, go to our houses and stay. We need yeah. to actually get together, make an organisation where we actually meet, get to know each other. This group has effectively written off politicians. I'm 18 now and I don't think once in my life have I seen like, someone coming to me and asking me for my opinion or what I should want in the country. Almost every local authority will have some youth participation section of it and it's just down to the politicians, they're just not using these means to engage with the young people. How can we make young people feel excited to become politicians of the future? They'll be actually achieving what the young people want us want to achieve. If the MPs come to their schools, come to visit them, they're going to think like these are real people, not just watching it from TV. This cohort is much more inclined to support remaining in the EU than taking us out. The struggles of splitting with the EU, we're going to have to face with it. That's why us young people are so worried, because things are happening so fast. But facts matter to them. Rational arguments matter to them. Data matters to them. I like to go through different news stations all the time. So you go RT, BBC, I'm probably going to slaughter this one, is it Al Jazeera? Al Jazeera. Yeah. You know, just go through all of them and eventually you pick bits of truth from each one, even though they're all biased in their own way, and you can make your own you know, pitch. But we shouldn't have to go through everything to find trusted that, information. I, it should I, be available to us. We are, I think, learning as much as the next generation of young people how to navigate through this very complex, integrated, fast-changing world. The responsibility is not all sitting in Westminster. Your expectation is that business has a really important role to play in not just selling products to you, but actually sure. actively working with you and representing you and investing in the kind of areas that you think are important.